to hear these arguments, they still have to be framed to someone who's not even an expert in the region. Yes, sir. Another point I was going to uh, ask you to address was uh, when the camera equipment goes to Africa, uh, one of the incidents in Nigeria, where recently there was a famine. In Nigeria? In Nigeria, Niger, yeah. Yes. They showed a man with four children. In Nigeria there was a famine and they showed a man with four children. Cooking a rat. Cooking a rat. And he made four pieces of that rat. He made four pieces of that rat. And gave it to his children. And gave it to his children. The camera people were watching. The camera people were watching. Um, watching these children having a rat. but Watching these children having a rat. I wonder if they had the food to offer these people. But I wonder if they had the food to offer these people. Sir, that is one of the major rules of, of, of journalism. When do you get involved? When do you, when, you know what I mean? It's not a journalist's responsibility to feed the family or anyone He's else. Right. Mm. There are certain agencies which have that as their agenda. The um, World Food Programme is one of them. But, I mean, I've been in Africa and seen many situations whereby, of course, sometimes I'm in a situation whereby you save someone's life, you save someone from being killed, and then you just can't be doing that all the time because you're there for something else. And so eventually you stand by and watch someone be killed. And then you question yourself later on, could I have intervened? Could I have saved that someone's life? And you try and rationalize it. And you justify yourself. Well, if I'd have intervened, it might have cost me my own life. It's the only fucking moral racket. You know.